Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's May I Scraplift You. As you know, we integrated the Saturday May I Scraplift You series into our Off the Board for the month of July. Uh, but of course the Saturday series is an ongoing series where Crystal, myself and Sandy uh, Scraplift, one of our scrappy friends or uh, somebody that provides us with inspiration over on Instagram or Facebook or video. And um, I think also MK, maybe MK and Alex try and join us whenever they can. Uh, anyway, I will have the info and the links down below. And for the second week in a row, I am scraplifting my lovely and dear friend, Helen. And I'm scraplifting Helen this week in a bit of a different context. I'm scraplifting her as part of a challenge from our other lovely friend, Scrappy Kathy, uh, in the Dottie About Flare group. So we finished the whole July celebration, but there is some more celebrating going on for the first part uh, of August. So of course I'll have the Facebook group down below, but Kathy, Kathy went live in the group, I think, on Wednesday afternoon, our time here. Um, so I had to catch it on replay because I was working on Wednesday. And so next week, in fact, next week I will be scrap lifting Kathy. So that's fun. So there's a little bit of a two-parter here. The challenge over in the Dottie About Flare group is not a two-parter, but I'm turning it into a two-parter. So here I am with this scrap lift, and you can see Helen's lovely page up here uh, in the corner, as it always is. And if you saw my Fun Friday Finds yesterday, you saw that I just received my Bella Boulevard Besties, that big, lovely paper pack of faux solids, of patterns that read like solids. This, I got the graph and the dot, one of the packs that I got, and I absolutely love them and I've already put a few aside you're going to see in my haul for the simple vintage lemon twist and straight away I started using them so I can tell that I'm going to need a couple of packs of those I'm working with my simple stories safe travels collection and we are having a little bit of a travel back to Berlin. Now, we all know and have read extensively, some of us have maybe seen the Berlin Wall, the wall that was erected after World War II and that separated East Berlin from West Berlin. But there is also, uh, and I have a layout on that of some of the remnants um, and dregs that I was able to see of that, but this wall here is some remnants of the old city wall and this is a medieval wall that was erected in um, I believe it was 1346 as uh, a protective barrier all around the city and there are still certain areas uh, not many where you can see remnants of this old city wall and that's what this photo is so it's a photo of the other <laughs> Berlin Wall. So I got my safe travels out and I used this lovely background because I felt it just worked beautifully and I wanted to use this lovely diagonal plaid paper which I think is, is lovely. So I matted my photo first in uh, orange which is the back is it the back side of this lovely floral no it's the back side of this lovely dotted paper here so I did a very thin mat of this sort of rusty orange color just so that it would make the photo pop a little bit and then a little bit of a wider mat in the same photos this I had a 4 by 12 strip so I did um, a little bit of a wider mat I did the same as Helen where I got basically a 6 by 8 I cut this lovely floral, a six by eight piece of it, and put it down the left hand side, mounted my photo, and I have this lovely piece on the side as well. Now I have just a little bit more. I've put these two little strips here, uh, which is something that Helen didn't have because I did not have enough contrast because this paper and this paper uh, are the same. So I, I didn't like that look. 
and I didn't like the look of having this right over because I sort of should have, I guess I should have made my paper just a touch wider than the six because I decided to double that. So really the lovely floral wasn't showing. So my first decision then was to move it over to the right a little bit so that I could have the floral showing beautifully. Having done that, this mat was right on top of the identical paper, which I didn't like. Then just putting this lovely or uh, rusty orange strip down, I found was not contrast enough with the background. So I went in and got this lovely dotted paper. So that's how all of that got built. I started with misjudging a little bit my mat measurements, moving the photo over, putting the orange, which was lovely with this floral, but not enough contrast here, and then adding this dot. And that's basically the only difference. For the rest of it, I stay very, very close to uh, Helen's layout. I have a little bit of a floral cluster down here and a camera popped up on pop dots, a little cluster here of glasses and an arrow pointing to the wall here with my title, Old City Wall right here and then up in this area my journaling will be at the same spot as Helen's will be. I popped a flare pretty much at the same spot as well. Did a fun little cluster in this corner which is really just about the travel aspect. So a globe, walking boots because as many of you know who have been following along with all of the layouts that I've done from that backpacking trip there were a little over in that year I walked over 6,000 kilometers and then a compass and so I have two lovely dotty about flare pieces here and quite frankly I chose them more for the color this is a fun little clock this is from the work at home mix which is probably still available over in uh, the Facebook group. So if you like this, go go have a look. This is the Wi-Fi symbol, which really has nothing whatsoever to do with this, other than the fact that at that particular time we were quite I was quite far away from any kind of internet, and um, mainly to stay in touch with families. I didn't have a cell phone in in two thousand two thousand and five to 2006 when I made this trip, I did not have a cell phone. They were not that prevalent here in Canada. They were a lot more so in Europe because pretty much as soon as I got there, I realized that everybody had a cell phone, but I did not. So I stayed in touch with people going into internet cafes. Um, so maybe there's a little bit of a connection there if you want, but I really chose it mainly for the color, this, this clock. Um, as well. I got two lovely Nicole Jones 911 tags as a full tag and this was a cutoff piece that I had where I will be able to get my journaling. And then up here, of course, I had to do my lovely little corner cluster because that is something that Helen and I share in our creativity in any case. So explore these lovely little binoculars, a little floral, uh, a little bramble fox piece here. Uh, one of the gold, lovely gold hearts, and just a tiny little flat back brad that I put here in the middle uh, of the flower to give a little bit of dimension because I really wanted to get a third flare on here, but I really didn't like it anywhere here. I, I didn't, it didn't look, it took up too much space if I overlapped it. It, it seemed to be a little bit too big. Um, so I didn't like it there. And then down here, I found it was too much in a diagonal. Uh, here, it would be too close to the other and no other place really needed uh, a flare. So I've got the two lovely dotty about flare here, one lovely bramble fox piece here. And there you have it. Go on over um, in the video section of the group if you have not seen Kathy's challenge and her live in the video section of the group. And it's one of the more recent um, lives because she was up on Wednesday. It, I'm not sure if it's actually the last one. I think at the time of recording this, it may have been the last one. There may have been one since, but it, it's not far. And, or just scroll down and I'm sure you can find her challenge as well. And don't forget all of the July challenges are open until the 15th. And this set 
of newer challenges, I think if I'm not mistaken, Kathy, correct me if I'm wrong, or Helen, I think they're open until the 22nd. So there you go. Thank you for the lovely inspiration, my friend, yet again. And I will see you back here next week with a scrap lift, lift of Kathy. See you then, my folks. Make sure you go see what Crystal and Sandy were up to and anybody else who might be playing along. Bye for now, my friends. <laughs>